video and in today's video we're gonna watch a scenario where Spain forms a wild empire because as we know Spain is a wild country but the first thing Spain does is annex Andorra really had to annex Andorra they're like just tiny and just there but Spain is like nah I want to eat them because Spain is hungry wait what Spain is hungry <laughs> But anyways, let's invade Portugal. And everyone from Portugal is mad at this video. Okay, but it can't be as mad as the uh, Russians must have been at Ukraine's empire. But anyways, let's go into it. With them invading the middle of Portugal and cutting it in two. And then they encircle Lisbon and take it. With Portugal being forced to surrender, Spain fully annexes Portugal and declares the Iberian Union. Although, it's really a Spanish Empire, but nobody really calls them out on it. And now for the Morocco War! Because you got nothing better to do, Spain, but to invade Morocco! Because you're such a nice country. Definitely nice. It's definitely nice to invade Morocco with them moving in the north in Morocco. With their holding in Morocco deepening. And then they're like, hey, what if we invade Western Sahara? Oh yeah, this is Spanish land. I forgot about those Spanish islands. Well, then again, the Portuguese islands are also Spanish. The Zor Islands. Although, why does that matter? With Morocco holding a nice defense. But unfortunately for them... Spain seizes opportunity to invade the Western Sahara. Whether you recognize it as a country or a part of Morocco, it doesn't matter because they still invade it. And they manage to take a big chunk out of the south. Morocco has a move force of south, which led to a breakthrough north of Rabat with a landing and they take Rabat, or however you say it. But this is quick and big chunks of Morocco start surrendering over. And yeah, so then taking the rest of the coast and annex Nigeria yet invades Tunisia. Because invading Tunisia is a great idea as it gives them big access to most of the Mediterranean Sea. Do I see an empire made? Well, here you go, Spain. I'm giving you an empire. They should have been nicer to you at the Berlin Conference so you could have got more out of Africa. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Some things never will happen, Spain. But people will want you powerful. With them saying, hey, let's go after France before we get too strong. Because we don't want to destroy France yet. But we do want to destroy them. Okay, Spain, what do you want to do to France? We want to destroy them. Germany doesn't want to help you, nor does Britain. Because they're scared of you, says Spain. But anyways... They don't want help. They want to do it all by themselves. They're hoping to expand it all the way to Italy's border, but they realize realistically that's too much land to hold for the Spanish Empire. And then moving up and taking over Brittany and Normandy. So now they move towards Paris. They take Paris. The Paris Commune forms, and then they take it over. Because when Paris is encircled, they go communist. With France surrendering over... And Spain being like, well, what do we realistically need? Do we need all of the southern areas? Or is that way too much? With Spain coming to the conclusion that, well, annexing all of southern France doesn't look as good as annexing this part. So yeah. And France has turned into a Spanish puppet state named Spance. Yep, that's what you call France. But it's owned by Spain. Yep, we got a good name for it. But anyways, back to the African theater we go, guys. And what do you mean by that? Yep, the Algerian invasion starts. On two fronts, I might add. And even in the desert. So who knows what's going on? It's technically more than two fronts. But like, if you consider it a west and east front. And they move in. And they advance from Morocco. In multiple places and their main focus is the north but they're attacking there to make them have to defend 
So if nobody's there, they would just advance and take all southern Algeria, where resources may be. With them taking Algiers, the capital, and quickly moving across the north. This area of Algeria is where most of the people are. Most of the stuff is. Southern part is just desert, so they surrender over eventually. Spain becoming the leader of the Western Mediterranean. And if they don't like you, well, you're not getting into the Mediterranean Sea. No. Well, I'm deciding they won't give their French puppets to eat any land. Or will they? But anyways, it'll probably look better on the thumbnail if they don't. So that's why they don't get any. But I'll show you what they did annex and then, well, unannex it. With Spain landing in, did Sardinia declare independence? Nope. Spain took it over. And they invade southern Sicily. That's pretty wild. And they build a bridge to Italy because they have nothing better to do. And they build a bridge to... <laughs> yeah, I don't even think that's a good idea. But let's say they do. And they build a bridge to Albania. That would be very bad for trade routes for the Balkans. Maybe they could, should do it with Greece. <laughs> Checkmate the Balkans. But that sounds like a good idea. But it's probably not. Now, to see the peace treaty annexed all the way to this border over here. But I'm not going to show it because it looks better on the thumbnail. Spain annexed southern Italy. Most of southern Italy, to be exact. But that's a lot of land. So let's see how the... This is the Spanish Empire. It has three states before. Where Portugal is. France. Africa. And the Italian areas. Yes, they're split into even smaller subdivisions. So that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys. But not until you subscribe. Because we need to get to 2600 subscribers by May 1st. Bye.